But just step back and ask yourself this. What would the 20th century or the last 100 years have been like if there never was an America? What would have been the outcome of World War I? Or World War II? Or the Cold War? What would the world be like if America sort of never existed? For all our blunders and for all our self-interest, by the way, democratic societies have every right to be self-interested. We elect governments to look out for us. The question is not, is America self-interested, as if that was a crime, but in being self-interested, is America making the world better or worse? We self-interestedly got into World War II. We didn't even care about Hitler. It took, it took the bombing in Pearl Harbor to get us into it. Self-interest. But that self-interest nevertheless got rid of Nazi, Germany, and Japanese imperialism. We fought the Cold War for self-interest, sure. But who would deny that at the end of it, the world is much better and freer? The Russians have all kinds of problems, but nobody wants to restore the old nomenclatura, the old Communist Party. So American power has been ultimately, I think, a great boon for the world. It has, in a way, in a way kept the world secure. Why? For this reason. What America invented is the idea of wealth creation as an alternative to conquest. Frankly, most people in the rest of the world believe in both. If China today or Russia had America's power, they'd be using it for wealth creation. We taught them that. They would also be using it for conquest. What America can do for the world now is show the importance of transitioning from the one to the other. It's another way of saying that American foreign policy is not about acquiring real estate. People tell me, well, America invaded Grenada, and America invaded Iraq, and America invaded Afghanistan. And my point is, hey, if America invaded all those places, why don't we own them? The truth of the matter is America got in, America gets out. We don't want to own anybody else's real estate. Our foreign policy can be summed up in two phrases. Trade with us and don't bomb us. And that's it. So, there are all kinds of criticisms to be made of America, and I will, I will be happy to make them as well as the next guy. But I think taking the global perspective, taking the perspective of history and the comparative perspective, I end up with the words of Jean Kirkpatrick who said many years ago, sometimes we have to face the truth about ourselves, no matter how pleasant it is. Thank you very much.